Hey there, good morning, honey. I keep telling you that I should show you a little bit more around the ship as I go. And I haven't done a lot of that. I've spent a lot of time in my room, and I've sent you a lot of my letters from there. And that's probably not a good sign. The thing is, I feel comfortable around there. And I'm sure you would recognize that from me. But for once, I need to show you around it for no other reason than to explain part of why I spend so much time there. So let's start out by heading from my room to the centrum and see if what I was going to tell you about is actually still in force. You might be able to hear it from here. Um, this is just in one of the elevator bays right next to my room. And you'll notice that there's some tin music going on. Nothing too obnoxious, nothing too offensive, but it's just enough to keep from really concentrating on what I'm trying to do. You can't write, and it's hard to speak sometimes because I'm hearing this going on. Um, this is why, and again, who's gonna sit around here and try and write or talk to you or something like that? But this is just one symptom or whole. One of the few places where I haven't had to worry about tuning music is the solarium. And I've come up here a couple of times. I will say it's a little bit warm and humid in here, which is to be expected. That's the whole point. It's letting all the sun in and with the water and the heat from the sun, it gets nice and steamy in here, which can be pleasant, but it can get a little bit much after a while. It's also kind of hard to be heard because it's a little echoey and therefore also a little difficult to focus. And then there's the pool deck, which even this early in the morning, you can hear the music. Thankfully, I'm pretty sure it's not enough that I'm gonna get a copyright strike from YouTube, which is really annoying. So I figure if the bit with, uh, with Neptune didn't do that, you know, just a quick walk through like this isn't going to either. However, there's also the factor of the wind, which gets in the way of my recordings. I can't tell it from here, I can feel it, but it doesn't necessarily mean it's not a factor. On the other hand, there's the library on the 12th deck, which is perfectly quiet to hang out in. It's not quite as big as the one on the Azamara, as I recall. But uh, then again, the Azamara library was more like the club lounge, too. So maybe that's part of that. Anyway, yes, it's quiet here. And I'm not going to do the whole cliche about too quiet. But there is that because the other part of what I try to do is to talk to you. And talking in a library, well, you know how that works. So, it's a no-go to hang out here and do this. I could write, sure, but how much different would that be from doing so in my room? And you'll notice that the view here isn't nearly as good as the one from my balcony. Even in the vortex, which would seem like the weirdest place to hang out at this hour of the day, who goes to a nightclub at 6.30 in the morning? It's almost the worst combination of everything because there are a few people hanging out in here for the quiet, like a library, and you have some canned music behind me, and it's dark. Um, so it makes it difficult to write, it makes it difficult to concentrate, it makes it difficult to speak even now i'm trying to keep my voice down because i'm worried i'm disturbing someone and uh, in that case i'm gonna get out of here in a hurry likewise there's the crown lounge it's a great place to grab a coffee as i've already demonstrated to you and they've got these comfy chairs that the spanish inquisition would just kill for and a great view of the rest of the ship so it's almost perfect for writing and reading and, well, not so much doing this. 
unless there's nobody here, which is very rare. Even right now, there's somebody here, so I'm gonna make this quick too. And that's the thing, there's always something like that going on, so. Now, feel free to disbelieve me about this. I would hardly believe it if I wasn't the one doing it, because it's been three weeks since I got here. This is the first time I've been on an elevator since I got here. And I just need to show you the ocean view behind me. Although, you know, obviously, I have to deal with a lot of the floors, too. This isn't even one of the ones going to the central, for that matter. Deck two. Wow, made it all the way down. <laughs> yeah, I should point out, I've tried to make a habit of using the stairs all the time. So, I've been really good about that. Of course, the elevator isn't a particularly good place to sit in the right either, but it makes for a decent scenic shot, no doubt. So let's take you up to the centrum and see if I can't explain that one for you. To be fair, I'm coming here at an odd time of day when the place isn't a bustling hub of activity. And you've got the things that they do here with guest services, shore excursions. The bar doesn't open until noon, not that that really is a thing for me, although I have been getting myself my Diet Coke with lime juice and lemon juice now and again. Now, I've seen people sitting around here and studying, get out their laptops and the like. I understand there's a handful of kids here that are basically homeschooling and uh, communicating with their teachers via Zoom and all that, doing their homework here. And uh, I've seen them using this very table here. And good on them for sticking to that. It's a challenge to try and consistently be doing work when there's fun to be had all over the place. And then again, I guess I've managed that too, so maybe I shouldn't be quite as surprised. But then again, I'm a grown up. I'm not as used to just chilling out and having fun anymore, so yeah, there you are. Anyway, once this place is full with its usual complement of guests, you can understand why it would be difficult for me to talk with you here. Now to give you a good look at the centrum from within here. Again, this is a look that I haven't had to see either. Ah, but I'm not gonna get through here all the way at once. Good morning. Good morning. Well, let's try this the other way. It is challenging at this hour of the day. Now that it's getting towards seven, the, the wind jammer is opening, and obviously people are getting up and realizing, hey, time for breakfast, and definitely time for coffee. <laughs> but we made it this time, so now you see what it looks like. Not only have the wind jammer, but people are starting to gather around here too. You won't see many, but you might see a few. Let's see. Hello. Hello. Oh. Yeah, I think I'll pass for now. Oh, this is that's a, that's closed. Let me see if I can get through the other way. The shops are of course closed. You wouldn't even expect Woodfield to be open at this hour. But you'll hear the music. There's nowhere to sit down, there's nowhere to think, there's nowhere to write. Right, this is obviously the least optimal place to be trying to do this, uh, other than a walk through like this. Oh, 
I know this probably sounds like I'm criticizing everything, and it's not meant to be. The fact is, this stuff is necessary to keep things going. If everything was quiet and silent, it would get on people's nerves in a hurry. The thing is, it's suboptimal for what I'm trying to do, which is unusual, I think. I don't know that there's many people who are making films of the entire length of the ship. And that's probably good. I mean, I need to carve out a niche somehow, don't I? But still, I'm trying to explain to you why there's very few places that I actually can feel comfortable enough to do this. Because I don't mind telling you, I still feel a bit self-conscious to be wandering around with a selfie stick, talking to it in lieu of you while I wander around. It looks kind of weird to people, and it feels very strange. Well, I will say, the last time I was here at the pub, it was just as empty as it is now, but there was tin music here too. This might be an ideal place to hang around and just write. I'm not sure about talking to you like this. Again, there's that self-consciousness factor that I've got that I never can quite shake, but still, this is surprisingly comfortable. And this one little nook here allows me to be out of the line of sight of the barman, so I'm not gonna get anybody coming here asking me what I want for an extended period of time, which is fine with me. Still, like I said, the last time I was here, there was a lot louder uh, piped-in music, and it was hard to focus. This isn't bad. You don't get a view of the ocean or anything like that, but it is very much this cozy English pub look to it that I don't get at home either, so there's something to be said for it. I very nearly forgot to tell you about this one because it's so well hidden as a general rule. Once you pass out of the pub, there is actually a tiny little cinema. And the door is on the opposite side, so let's walk over there, shall we? It is very well hidden. See what I mean? And again, still the overhead music. And for once, there's actually nobody here. Although, given the hour, that shouldn't surprise me. Usually every time I poke my nose in here, there's been somebody. I'm usually waiting for one showing or another. This place really doesn't interest me because, you know, if I wanted to watch something, I can watch something on my own back in the room. And the only real appeal would be at about six o'clock tonight when they'd be having a showing and actually serving fresh popcorn, which Apart from having to just come down here and sit around and watch a movie, why do that? You'd be all over the popcorn, I'm sure, honey. I hadn't actually walked down here before. Uh, it's really steep down those things. I can't even have the camera going while I'm doing that because I'd be worried I'd slip. I'm probably down on the fifth deck. There's an exit here, but I think it's just an emergency exit. So it's not gonna actually get me onto the fifth deck except for cruise area, which mm, I'm a passenger, not a crew member, probably not allowed there. Still, an interesting little bit of um, scenery that I hadn't looked at before. And then there's the casino, which is really particularly strange. I always think of these things as operating 24 hours a day, um, seven days a week, with no outside lights so that the gambler will not realize, oh my goodness, how late has it gotten? I need to get going, I need to go home because I've practically run out of money. No, the whole point is to stay, keep spending, keep spending, at least that's my opinion. And yet, you know, that's not the case here. Obviously, part of that's because once they get into port, everything has to shut down because the local laws don't usually allow it. But clearly, staying all night and spending their time and money in the casino isn't quite the same on ship as it is 
say back at home or in the original home of the casino in Las Vegas. Uh, this is not what I expected and good on everybody for that, for that matter. It just seems to keep hours. You can even see that certain games are disabled. They're not running right now at all. Not to mention all the tables are empty, the croupiers and the dealers. They're not here. There's nobody even at the tellers, so you know I can't break all my 20s into fives for tips for going forward. So, but I can still point out to you, there's a little bit of the can music. The lights are going like crazy. Um, I can't imagine trying to work right and talk to you here. Although, you know, I'd probably be less conspicuous here than most places, which is, an ironic realization. <laughs> anyway, let's keep going. There's so many lights and decorations and everything like that. I would think that Daniel would still be awed by this place if he still has a little bit of that kid in him, which, why wouldn't he? Another bar. And again, beautifully appointed. Don't get me wrong. Some of the artwork here is it's just fantastic. Like right here. And you meet some interesting people here. I don't mind telling you that. It's just, again, that's the whole point. You're meeting people here. And that is counter to what I'm trying to do here. Now walking into the schooner bar, you can hear the motors of the ship. Wow, that's a little bit more white noisy than tin music. Although we have some of that too. It isn't exactly the most conducive for concentration either. Yeah, the bar is closed here and you can still hear the music coming in from the speakers up on the ceiling. Again. This is a great place for socializing. They have the trivia contests here on a regular basis. I had a couple of my table mates head off to here you know, almost religiously after dinner because it starts at seven o'clock and just finishing up by then. So it has its appeal and attraction, but for this purpose, not so much. There's the billiard room, which has been interesting to watch in its own right sometimes, watching the tables move, when of course, they're the ones that are trying not to move, as opposed to the rest of the ship. And in the safari lounge, which I haven't spent a lot of time in here, I've gone through here to find the, some of the specialty restaurants, just so I know where they are, not to actually use them to be sure. And again, you can hear the music in the background. It is what it is. So with all that being said, I haven't gone through everywhere now that I think about it, but you can see why most of the places within the ship aren't what I would consider going to when I'm gonna be talking with you. There's either a distraction, a self-consciousness factor, that sort of thing. And it makes it a little more difficult than I'd like it to be, but that's how it is. And so I usually talk to you from the stateroom. I get my view of the ocean from there, although, you know, there are certain places where you have these angles where you get to see it much closer up. Although, can you see it from here? There we go. Yeah, you can see pretty well from here. And this being the sixth deck rather than the ninth, it's a little more up close and personal. There's also the other angles that we can sit and watch the ocean at. Here from the aft, you can see the wake that we generate. That's kind of impressive in its own right. But I can't imagine doing this at any other hour of the day. You can even see the sunrise. Since we're headed south, the, the sun rises at a different angle. No longer do I have the tanning bed like I did 
when we were heading down to Papiete, um, which is a bit of a shame, but you know, I probably shouldn't be doing that all the time anyway. Still, this one's kind of impressive in its own right. And so there you have it, honey. That's most of the tour around the Serenade of the Seas. Unfortunately, on this model, what you're seeing here is the starboard side, so I can't point out my room from here. I guess that it would be right around here, except on the opposite side. And I guess this is my way of explaining to you why I don't get out and about more often to talk to you, because most of the locations are just less conducive to the quiet and the privacy of my own room. And so I'm kind of sorry about that, but um, this is what we have and this is what we've got to work with. So now you have a basic gist of the place. And you also see why there's very few places that I feel comfortable either talking or writing to you other than my room. And to be fair, if you were still here with me, we'd be spending a lot of time talking and... Whatever. So, we'd spend a lot of time in the room. But, I figure I might as well give you the grand tour, such as it is. I haven't covered everything, obviously. There's still the miniature golf course and the rock climbing wall. And Sure, I'm good enough to handle the latter of the two, but I might give it a try. We've still got half the ports on this one leg of the journey yet to go. So, there's still time. Because there's four more legs of this journey after this. We might just get sick of the ship after a while. I'll be honest, there's some times where there's so much cruise ship food, and the breakfasts are pretty much the same, that ah, I'm looking forward to getting on shore and just doing some local fast food. No, I'm not quite ready to go to Macca's just yet, but still. Anyway, that's all I've got for now. I've probably talked your ear off enough as it is, but I figured you need to see why I'm not getting out and about as much as even I think I should be. Because it's not as suitable as my room. If, if nothing else, I'm busy editing and rendering this video while I'm in the room because that's where my computer's set up. And as long as it's doing that, I can write and research and get other things taken care of. So there's that too. Anyway. I might as well get on with my day. You have a good one. Keep an eye on me. Wish you